I'm Michael McClain. I'm the president of the ICA. Welcome. We're delighted to have you here at the Arnold Classic. As a boy, I read and relished all of Robert E. Howard's books. I hardly wait to see the first Conan movie. Arnold fit the role perfectly. Since then, I've seen every Arnold movie that's ever come around, from Sumeria in the past to Mars in the future. But from my point of view, the greatest role that Arnold has ever played is as ambassador of chiropractic. His endorsement of chiropractic, especially his friendship with the ICA, has influenced millions to gain health in a natural way. For 22 years, he's worked with the ICA Sports and Fitness Council. He's our angel. And I'm gonna turn it back over to the president, Dr. Pete Crutale of the ICA Sports and Fitness Council. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he's a tremendous supporter of our organization for 22 years. He's been coming and visit us. There is no need for any more introduction and welcoming Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. exactly the same thing. Your whole goal always is to reach out and to help people get healthy and fit. Not only, this is the great thing about chiropractic, not only when someone has an injury or when someone has a problem, they come to the chiropractor, but no, that's not the only thing you do is you then give them advice on how not to get injured and how to get sick in the first place. You give them all the nutritional guidance and all the different exercises they can do in orders. And this is why it's so good for preventive medicine also. And uh, so since then, we've had this great relationship. Then you, of course, you went to chiropractic college. I'm in the business school. And, uh, and then since then, I had a built-in personal chiropractor. So whenever I have a problem, I go to his office or he comes over to the house. Or if anyone, my kids has a problem, my name, he takes care of it right away. So frankly, I want to say to the two kids. I really want to say that um, nothing gives you more than, than the chiropractic profession when it comes to health, longevity, and also what to do, not only for yourself, but also for your friends. And I really have to say that you did a, a great thing to be, you know, to go in, in bikini. Because you have been in my company. <laughs> <laughs> in chiropractic, money is limited, maybe, but you gain it in health and longevity. And also it feels so great when you can help other people more than any other health profession. And the reason is very simple because only the chiropractic profession really comes to you and, and helps you do things instead of just giving you a tablet and sending you home. And chiropractic profession number one. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So I want to thank everybody. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Joe. Sure. Come on. Sure. Big hand to Joe. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, such an honor to be here in bodybuilding and, and athletics have been a huge part of my life from the time I was a little kid up to now, of course, you know, True Blood, Magic Mike what to expect when you're expecting. These are roles that, that combine acting with you know, great physical feats of working out and training. I train like a bodybuilder and I have been no stranger to chiropractic offices over the past few years. A few years back, I, uh, I pinched a nerve between my five and six vertebrae and my whole back, you know, my back locked up and uh, I needed to go straight into Magic Mike, which was, you know, I was wearing a thumb, so uh, <laughs> there wasn't much that I could hide, and I really needed to get out there and, and perform. And um, you know, through a great, car, a very great chiropractor in, in Los Angeles, uh, he was able to unlock that nerve and unlock that muscle system. And uh, you know, obviously, you saw the results in the movie. I, I was able to get back into shape and, and, and keep going. So it's been a huge part of, of my life, and 
And also, like, like Franco was saying, it's about balance. And it's about making sure that all of the body systems, the muscle systems are working properly and, and in good order. And so it's, it's become very preventative for me in that, you know, it really changed the way that I thought about training. So, I, you know, I went into the gym and my trainer and I, you know, we make sure that the form is absolutely proper, that, uh, you know, that, I, that I'm making sure that I'm making my lifts with, with good form. And, uh, and so I think it's something that really changed the way that I looked at training. And so, you know, I'm just glad to be here. And obviously, anybody who's ever picked up a weight has this man to thank and, and, and Joe Weider for really bringing something that was that was looked upon as being uh, negative. You know, people were told that, that bodybuilding and, and working out and training hard was something that you're going to become muscle bound, you're going to live a shorter lifespan, all this ridiculous stuff. And now, of course, you look around, you know, there's protein drinks at every single gas station. There's a gym on every street corner. There are you know, gyms in, in junior highs and, and you know, bodybuilding books and, and magazines. So, you know, we live in this world that was created by, by Arnold and by Joe. And so, you know, I think it's important for, for my generation, and I always preach this, that, you know, we, we can't, we have to remember where it all came from. So I think it's easy to move forward and, and not look back to the forefathers and the people that really brought bodybuilding, chiropractic work, you know, fitness in general to the mainstream public from something that was a subculture. So, you know, I'm, I'm really proud to be here and be a part of that and be carrying that legacy on. So, thank you, Lauren. Thank you very much. And now, I just want to say, you know, as you can see, we all love you. We love your profession. And now, let's go and take some pictures behind the screen over here and pump it up. <laughs> <laughs> Governor and distinguished guests, uh, I think I was sitting in Lee Haney's seat in the balcony, Governor, about 27 years ago when I first came here. I was invited to work backstage as the chiropractor. Frank Richards and Jim and a few others invited me, and I got the idea for this event. Brought it to Ron Hendrickson, who did his magic, and we created this. But the show was inspiring, everything was inspiring, but what Governor Schwarzenegger said on stage Say no to drugs, say no to alcohol, say yes. And then he talked about the, what we would say yes to, not just no. And we followed. We had to. Here's a lead. When he was head of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports, and President Bush named him, we framed and put in our office from the New York Times the picture because Governor Schwarzenegger didn't just say thank you. He said, I take this banner, hold it high, and I will move forward. And he talked about the positives about affecting communities, about changing lives. So I had to run the New York local councils with Captain Butterfield and Ruth Ann Hockett. When the inner city games, now the after school all stars started, I was the, one of the first board members in New York. Because we were doing something good and meaningful, and because a legacy was begun by this gentleman. When we started this class, this organization, I went to Jim and Arnold, and they knew me a couple of years working as a chiropractor, and I, it was a two minute pitch. What if we brought doctors changing the audience and they reach their patients and they reach now fitness pros and we have about 50 of them here and other groups and it took two seconds, do it. Let's move forward. It's a legacy and I, I, in a way I kind of want to remind everyone, we're here to have fun, we're here to enjoy the show, but you're leaders too. And we've created a new award, Governor, and it's a bit of a surprise for the first two honorees because we're calling it the Legacy Award, and it's your legacy that we're honoring in it. The legacy begun by Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger to say no to drugs, to say no to the negatives, but then to say yes to changing people's lives. And each year we're going to honor one doctor and one fitness professional because you are becoming an important part of this. And the two honorees who I'd like to invite up this year, United States, Air, uh, United States Army Captain West Point, who this, I don't think this organization, I started it, but we needed people to continue it. And one of those people is one of our honorees, Dr. Richard Gennaro, and the other, a fitness professional, Daniela Abruzzo, a fitness professional, an entrepreneur, very successful in martial arts and other businesses created Magic Happens to help bring fitness and inspiration to children especially, and others fighting cancer and moving forward. So, Governor, if you would, we have an award for Dr. Gennaro and Daniela, and if you would.
Okay, um, one last award, uh, award that you can hand out for us is the ICA Council on Fitness and Sports Health Science honors and salutes Monica Brandt as the Athlete of the Year for 2014. Let me take some pictures now.